What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Chris, back with you guys. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, we're going to concentrate on Sol 1450. And I want you guys to see this because this is pretty interesting. Let's have a look at this. And this one's not going to be too long. Why? It's not because I'm in a hurry. It's because it's one basic anomaly. It's not like the other photo I just examined where there's a ton of these things in there, right? This one here is pretty right in your face and you really don't have to do a whole lot to it. Although I think there's a little bit more than meets the eye even to that anomaly. Let's have a look. So what we're going to look at is this right here, this photo, and it's from mars.jpl.nasa.gov, MSL, which is the Mars Science Laboratory, uh, also known as Curiosity. And it's right here, 1450, and it's and the MCAM, meaning mass cam. Uh, and there you go, it's a JPEG. JPEGs usually, they're really not the greatest at, at all. That's why I try not to zoom into these too much. And if I do, I'll add like a little bit of blur to it. So you can try to get rid of some of that breaking up of the photo, right? Sometimes it'll hide details, sometimes not. Depends on how much you put in it. You don't want to overdo it, right? Okay, guys. Now, the anomaly that we're seeing is right here in the lower corner. And what looks like, is, for all intents and purposes, some kind of weird concrete block. Is it more to it than that? Let's have a look. Now, guys, this is not my find. This is a friend of mine, uh, Martine Graney. She has her page, and you can see right here, it's a Martian Genesis. If you guys have Facebook, bounce over to her page and check it out because she has everything from finds like this to all these what look like little humanoids, uh, could be like little creatures, it's hard to tell, but whatever they are, it's there, right? So, and you can see this right here, it's some, it, it looks like some kind of weird block. Now on her page, they had other people commenting, say this looks like what looks like some kind of rebar uh, hanging out of it. And I couldn't agree more. I mean, if we look at this right here, this is what we got here on Earth. And I think this was some kind of um, different pieces left from a, a dam, I think it was. So they might have, like, taken this down, demolitioned it, and then rebuilt it, right? But anyway, you can see that it actually looks like, because it's going to break up a lot, but you can see the rebar coming out of it. See, and then, of course, you get the rest of the concrete. So anyway, like I said, this is not my find. This full credit goes to Martine Graney for this. Great work as always. All right, let's hop into this because I want you guys to see something else. This is what I want people to take note of before I go on. A lot of people say, well, you know, clearly these are just rocks. There's nothing else. Listen, at some point, there's got to be something that's going to make you go, whoa, don't expect the crystal clear picture of a structure. It's not going to happen. Why? Because they're hiding the stuff. Why would people expect to see uh, a clear, detailed structure? So now we have to use... Uh, we have to use Photoshop to try to break their manipulations, their obfuscations, so on and so forth, right? Here's what I want you to take note of. What you may be seeing is is, is probably fooling your eyes, which that, that's the whole idea is trickery, right? To cover up whatever may be there that's intelligently made. Don't have to be high tech, right? But check this out. Just this item right here in this corner, on this right-hand side in this photo, check this out. Look at the way this thing is white comes over, and I didn't concentrate on this piece. I concentrated on the concrete block, but check this out. Right there, comes down, goes in like this, nice round circle, comes back out. You're telling me that's natural? Come on, guys, come on. But notice how, like they took the background, and basically you can use a lasso tool and just drop this right on top. Basically cut and paste a fabric or the ground surrounding it and drop it on top. The problem is they don't cover it all the time. This is the little nook and crannies you guys need to concentrate on. This right here is an actual anomaly, and it looks like it's been covered. Like they try to cover it with this background or down here. Notice how this is blurry. See it? Got some good detail right here. Decent anyway. And then all of a sudden completely blurred out. Why? Why is it? It's not that so much. I mean, it is a low-res photo, but that's not the point. The point is how do you go from well, semi-decent to complete mush? when it's in front of the said objects, right? And they could very well be rocks. But this here, look at that. It's got like a little uh, like uh, radius to it right here. It comes down. Look at the corner right there. Comes down, goes up like this, has a hole there, comes back out. Whatever this item is, it actually looks like if, I don't know if that's the end of this right here or if that's a manipulation they try to block out. Well, it looks like a nice 90 degree angle right there. Whatever this white piece is, that's the actual anomaly, not this crud here. And I'm gonna show you what I mean when we look at this rock. Um, Anyway, so here's the photo. We're going to go ahead and put it more natural. And here, to me, is more natural. Look at this. That's how Photoshop sees the photo. This looks more natural, doesn't it? Okay. Let's jump into this. So we're going to get over here. Jump down here. And what I'm seeing, I don't know if anybody else is seeing this, but when I look at this here, I can see right here, it's got this round 
I think this actually goes this way. I think it actually cuts behind this straight piece. See it right there? This comes down, goes over here, and it's kind of, it has this shape to it. Look, it goes up, it has this corner, goes over here. This goes all the way down, and it almost looks like it's designed. This, to me, is not, that's not natural. This right here, look at it. It's like a block, and it looks like rebar. That's what it basically looks like. Now, let's have a better look. I'm going to just go ahead and enhance these a little bit more. I started to try to burn it to see if we could find anything else in the photo. Now, you can see what looks like this little round circle. This isn't the true colors of this thing. You can see what looks like a little white piece sticking out. These are the things you want to pay attention to. It's these little pieces that is the actual anomalies. And then you might say, well, how is that? Well, this piece may be embedded in this concrete. We don't know, right? It's pure speculation. Here's another thing I want to show you right at the top of the photo. Looks like we got more insects. Move it over. Check this out. See this? Check this out. It appears to have wings. This thing would have to be pretty darn big from this point of view, looking up and over these rocks, right? Check that out. To me, that's another insect, as well as this one, maybe even in the background, but eh, I'll dismiss these. This, no. Nah. It looks like it actually has wings. All right, getting back down here. Let me show you what I found in addition to this. Like I said, we've got this piece here coming off. Now, let's jump down a little further. Now you can see where I burned that to try to... But these different colors, that's just different manipulation, obfuscation. I still believe it's a rock, uh, or a block rather, with rebar. But check this out. What is this long straight piece coming down from the inside of it? Look at this. Perfectly straight down. It comes over, goes up like this, and goes back up. Do you see that? Comes down, goes like this, goes perfectly straight up. Of course, I'm not hugging the bottom of it there. You can see where it's got a space right here. But it has this piece hanging down in it. What the hell could that possibly be? See it? There's, a, there's some kind of weird straight part sitting right in And it's got this other little, I don't know what that is, some kind of design thing on it or whatever that may be. What could that possibly be? You guys tell me. To me... Like I said, this is not naturally made. There's another thing I want to show you guys right off the bat. Jump back up at the top of the picture. Sorry for bouncing so much, guys. I just wanted to show you because this is, none of this is like, you know, none of this is planned out. This is on the fly, so you have to excuse me for that. Um, check this out. Where's these other anomalies? Well, these bits and pieces of anomalies, if you will, right here. See how you can see these little white pieces right here? See that? You can see what looks like it's going like this over to here. And then going up in here, and some other white piece hanging out. These are actually parts of the anomaly. This stuff is being hidden. Look, it's got this weird overhang. And why is it an overhang? Or how, how do I know it's an overhang? Look at this. Look at the shadowing to it. Right there. See it? So this is an overhang, and there's something right there. Check this out. Now people will say, "Well, these are these are nothing more than rocks." How do rocks do this? See this? One of them. Just happens to be like a rectangular shape, another smaller rectangular shape. Come on, guys. Look at this. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying from the surrounding rocks, it just seems a little weird, right? Let's go over to here. Here's that anomaly I was showing you earlier on hers right there. Notice this little piece right here. It almost looks like a half a round circle. See that? Here's the weird thing. You go to tell an anomaly that's being... Uh, that's being covered up because that's the smoothest part of the actual area. Notice how smooth that is compared to all of this other crap. Just like it just seems to be like broken apart or or almost like a pixelation. Well, of course, we are partially, partially pixelated because of the fact we're zoomed in. But look how clear that looks. It's like completely smooth. The rest of it around it, complete crap. That's how you can tell. I mean, you got to find these things, guys. They're in the photos. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think. Like I said, I wasn't going to make this in super long, but between these items right here, this right here, this big block, concrete block with something sticking out in the inside of it right here, and you can see that. And you can literally, and that's wild because when you look at this thing, it's literally coming straight out like this. And it's not, I don't mean per se coming out, but I mean it's, it's literally sticking out from the block like it should be, almost like it should be tucked into the rock. But whatever this thing is, 
I think there's something else more than just a, a block here. I think there's, uh, in addition to that, there's some other stuff that's mixed in it, or mixed with it, I should say. Um, you guys tell me. You guys tell me what you're seeing here. There you go. All right, guys, I'm going to jump out of this. Like I said, I'm not going to make it too long. I just wanted to show you this because this is pretty wild. Like I said, full credit goes to Martine Graney. Look for the link to her page down below. And I'm telling you, you guys won't be uh, disappointed because there's a lot of other people that are on her page, which you can join, and they just find some wild-looking anomalies. So check it out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.